Segment 3, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Double step on the web at www.ntnm.org. All the shows from the last seven years are available on YouTube. We're we'll be on communitypolicingcaps24.org. As most of you know, um, I really pay particular uh, emphasis on judicial races. And because it's a neighborhood show, I especially enjoy the Ninth Subcircuit, where uh, there's always good battles. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to one of the candidates for judge in the Ninth Subcircuit, Anjana Hansen. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> pleasure to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Want to give us your background? Sure. Um, uh, in terms of uh, my quick background, uh, I was born and raised in Rogers Park. Uh, and uh, I live in Evanston now. That's where I'm raising my family. I have three uh, children. And uh, I uh, am a lawyer. I was an assistant state's attorney uh, for many years. I just a few years ago uh, recently left uh, for various reasons, um, some of them uh, personal reasons. And now I have my own private practice. And so I do criminal defense. Um, I do some real estate work. Uh, I, I have done some work for uh, small businesses in Evanston. Uh, navigating the permits and licensing and, and, and city divisions. Uh, and I'm also an administrative law judge for the city of Evanston. So I uh, always say, if you've ever gotten a parking ticket in Evanston, uh, I am one of the hearing officers that would hear uh, your case if you want to contest that ticket. I also hear property standards cases, health code violation cases, and we do have uh, what's uh, similar to like a minor police call in the circuit court. I used to have my office in Evanston, and I think there's a three-dollar parking ticket from 1981 that I never paid. Oh well, <laughs> three dollars. That was a long time ago. That it's was not a long time ago. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I was over at one, two, three, four um, Sherman. As a matter of fact, it's an artist building. It was it was a cool place oh, okay. to be. Okay. Okay. Um, you were also an alderman. Yes, <laughs> I was also an alderman for the city of Evanston from 2005 to uh, 2009. Very cool. And what uh, what area did you serve? I was uh, the ninth ward, ninth sub circuit. So hopefully uh, nine yeah. will work out for me. But uh, the ninth ward, which is uh, between Oakton and Main Street, and the uh, railroad tracks, uh, the railroad tracks to the uh, to the canal, roughly. Cool. Now, um, what are the boundaries of the ninth sub circuit? The ninth sub circuit. Oh, well, it's. Uh, well, it's bigger boundary, so we know it's zigzag. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, but uh, the the main communities or the full uh, municipal communities would be uh, Skokie, uh, Evanston, Wilmette, uh, the 49th and 50th wards of Chicago, uh, Lincolnwood, and then there's all these partials: Martin Grove, Partial Winnetka, Partial Glenview, Northfield, um, and then there are uh, some precincts in some other of the uh, uh, Chicago wards, like um, 47, 48. Um, so it's it's a it's similar to the ninth congressional district. Yeah, no, there's a good chunk of it in there. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah. Now um, there's three different vacancies this time within the ninth sub circuit. Right. Okay. And and um, by the way, just for the record, I actually did sign her petition because uh, the first three people that he asked me in the ninth sub circuit, I'll sign their petition. I'm not trying to be prejudiced. <laughs> You're all invited on the show, all of you who are running. Okay. I mean. No problem there, but I'm always happy to um, sign people's petitions. It doesn't necessarily mean I support them or don't support them. Um, well, first of all, she really ticked me off. I guess I wouldn't have. But, <laughs> uh, you know, but you're only circulating in one vacancy. I am. I'm only cir circulating in uh, the honorable, honorable Barbara Meyer vacancy. Ah, Barbara Meyer. Okay, I'll tell you a story about her afterwards. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, she, she's an interesting character, and we wish her well, by the way. Yes, so, I, don't, I, I don't know her personally, but uh, hopefully she's enjoying retirement. No, I really don't. You know, at that time, that really was at the beginning of the time I was starting to cover judges. Okay. Actually, and, you know, I never really meant to cover all these judges and to learn all about it, and I just, they kind of grabbed me, and I, and I kind of like it. It's, it's great that you do that, because there isn't that, you know, you know, the hard thing about a judicial race is many people... Uh, don't bother to go down to the bottom of the ballot because they don't know any of the candidates that are running. So it's great that you do this because this is the neighborhood to which the Ninth Sub Subcircuit would be getting the votes and you it know, really informs everybody of who's who. As a matter of fact, I, I always urge people to go to the bottom of the ballot first because at least 20% of the people that actually do vote, not enough of you vote, um, 
don't vote for judge. And I always urge people to start on the bottom of the ballot first, and then they can get to the less important offices like president and governor sure. and all the rest <laughs> of it. <laughs> because, well, the truth of the matter is, you know, if somebody appears before you in court, that can have a bigger effect on their lives right. than, you know, what the president, you know, right. uh, does in Syria. <laughs> um, judge uh, Larry Axelrude. Uh, Great guy. When he, he is, and he, uh, when he was running for, um, for the Ninth Sub-Circuit judicial uh, position. I, I, one of the first times I heard him give his uh, stump speech, if you will, uh, he really put it in perspective and I thought, wow, that, that was great. I mean, he said, you know, in terms of judges, you should care to vote because uh, they can do so many things uh, that affect your direct life. Uh, they uh, can revoke your driver's license. They, uh, if there's a basis for it, of course. Uh, he talked about, um, deciding whether or not your uh, child, in terms of child protection cases, can go home with you or not go home with you. Um, and then he talked about, of course, criminal court, deciding uh, whether or not you're gonna be incarcerated or uh, a, a felony conviction. So it was really interesting how he put that in perspective and it was almost like, so you better get out there and vote because no. these are things that affect people's daily lives. No, it really does and it's, it's a very important thing. Now, you're not really allowed to campaign. I mean, you have to campaign, but you really can't campaign the same way a regular politician does. Right, which is interesting because I was an alderman, so I, I, I could campaign, and, and this time around, it's completely, completely different set of rules, so. You know, actually, you're originally from Rogers Park, right? I am. I am originally from Rogers Park. I grew up at, uh, uh, my parents still live there, uh, at Tallman and Granville. Yeah. Um, so um, I am constantly there, so. Are they in the Ninth Sub-Circuit? Yes, they are. <laughs> Just by a little smidgen, they're, they're carved in there, but they yeah, are. Yeah, Sonny's like about two blocks from there, but he's not. Right, yeah. <laughs> so they actually, I mean, uh, probably just by a block they make it. So they're, they're pretty uh, thrilled that they could get to vote for me. Yeah, you were telling me they had one of the first Indian businesses on Devon? Yeah, so uh, my dad uh, and my uncle, uh, who's uh, since passed on, uh, they had, uh, I think there were two stores at the time, Indiasari Palace being one of them that's yeah. still there. And uh, they opened an uh, India, Indian store called Royal Sari Palace. And I went to school um, at St. Tim's, which the school is no longer there, but the church is there. Um, at Washtenaw, Washtenaw. Yeah. yep, Wash by Washtenaw and Devon. And so very often after school, uh, my sister and my cousin and I would, if no one was at home, we'd walk. Uh, down to the store until uh, someone could go home with us. So yeah, Very so cool. some good cool memories about you know walking along Devon Avenue and um, Leonard's Bakery and getting pizza rolls. And whenever <laughs> I'm in Northbrook, I go get some. So yeah, <laughs> we were sad when they left. Very cool. Yeah. Um, do, do, you, do you have um, how's your support going? How's the campaign going? Um, I think we're doing really well. Uh, you know, I we publicly came out uh, informally, I guess. Uh, at the 4th of July parade in Evanston, uh, I was the only judicial campaign that marched on its own. You know, we didn't march with the uh, Democratic Party of Evanston or any other candidate. We marched on our own. And I had 60 people that marched with me. Very cool. And uh, I felt like we got some great feedback throughout the parade from people that we saw as well as afterwards uh, uh, by uh, certain people that uh, are uh, make it part of their life to know who to vote for and, and what's going on politically. Um, so I think we're doing really well and we have a kickoff coming up next week uh, on September 18th at, at, at Nevins in Evanston um, at 5.30. So if anybody wants to come out and meet me or meet other people, come on out. And uh, we're getting a good response of people wanting to come to that. So cool. So I'm hoping that's you know we can carry this momentum through for the next six months. Well, Mickey's hands are already there. So if people would like to contact your campaign or get more information about you, yes. So uh, you can go to www.hansenforjudge.com and it's Hansen with an E N, so H A N S E N. Um, the ninth sub circuit. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.